Arthur Evans is yet another example of an early archaeologist who ended up desecrating his object of study. In this case, that was Knossos on the island of Crete. Hey guys, I'm History with Dino. Welcome back to another video. Let's dive in. So, while excavating at Knossos, Evans discovered a structure that he called the Palace of Minos. Of course, this was not a palace and was not connected to the mythological king of Crete, Minos. It was actually Evans who coined the civilization on Crete, the Minoan civilization, as he interpreted the maze-like qualities of the palace, which were just interlocking storerooms, um, workrooms, food processing, workspaces, stuff like that, through the lens of the labyrinth, which mythologically held the Minotaur. However, because there were, you know, pictures of bulls on some of the walls of the supposed palace, he was able to back up his claim. Evans excavated the site from about 1900 to 1930, although he took a little teensy break to accommodate the First World War, and he made all kinds of fun claims with basically no evidence, such as calling a random chair in a central room the throne of King Minos. But that's only really the start. His real legacy is his decision to reconstruct parts of the palace, including the throne room. First attempts at authentic reconstruction completely failed because the wood he was using to create the pillars was untreated and it just rotted as a result of the heavy winter rains in Crete. Try number two took a different approach and used concrete with iron supports, which was essentially just using early 20th century British construction techniques um, to try and reconstruct a Bronze Age settlement. The final phase of reconstruction took even longer and was the most problematic. It involved a lot of use of iron reinforced concrete and also some creative liberties, we'll call it. Basically, Evans and his architects went beyond any of the archaeological evidence and just kind of imported their own visions of what Knossos could have looked like. These constructions were even decorated with random guesses at what the ancient paintings may have looked like. Frescoes were recreated, some based on archaeological finds, some just based on vibes and the throne room was even repainted. The result of all of Evans' work is an archaeological site that looks like a little kid painted it. Are the colors accurate? I don't know. The only thing I can really tell you for certain is that concrete is not the best material for reconstruction. Not only is it not faithful, but it tends to coat the ancient surfaces you're putting it over and just kind of mess everything up. So just for liability reasons, I do not recommend repairing your 8,000 to 2,000 year old palace with concrete. Anyway, now most restoration work um, at the site on Knossos is just trying to fix the damage that Evans did. Oh well, at least he discovered the languages Linear A and Linear B. Anyway, that's all for me here today at History with Dino. If you enjoyed the video, then please like and subscribe. I'll see you soon with another one. Ciao!